here at the O'Brien Community Center in Winooski to see a performance of the Bhutanese Nepali Cultural Heritage Dance Group, which is being taped for the virtual Vermont International Festival. This gives people an opportunity to present and observe and participate in other people's cultures. Namaste, my name is Vinay Kharkao. I'm a Burlington Vermont boss. I'm a dance moon person. I'm a performer. I'm a performer. I'm a performer. Twelve-year-old Bindia Kadka was recently a top five finalist in the Himalayan online talent show competition. And I'm really happy I was one of those 300s to get choose for top five. We first met Bindia back in 2017 at a dance rehearsal. Well, I still like Nepal because it's a free country. I also like dance with my eyes crossed sometimes. <laughs> I was so little in our first performance. I still remember it. The reasons why we want to start our dance is because we wanted to keep our culture because throughout the years people might forget our culture and we don't want like anyone to do that. So we wanted to represent our culture and dance. I was really like shaky in my um, Nepali language but because of dance I got way better at it and I usually listen to a lot of Nepali songs. Hi, my name is Deethan Karga and I'm Bindia's cousin. What I tell to everyone like parents, you know, you don't have to teach kids English, they will learn. You know, because they are in an English speaking environment. The thing is you need to teach them their native languages. This is our culture. I want to promote, I want to save, I want to let everybody know. That's the one thing you can teach kids easily is through entertainment. In order to understand why Bindia and her family are so invested in retaining their Nepali culture, we have to go back to the late 1980s in Bhutan, where Bindia's father Bishnu was growing up, and his Nepali culture was under attack. I was around 10 years old. There was a started war in, in, in Bhutan, and mostly the war uh, happened because of uh, culture and all political issues. All our Nepali books were piled on the ground and they, they put the fire on it. And I was standing um, next to the fire and, and looking my future, where my future is now. They were threatening us. They used to come with the gun and they put the gun in the forehead of the grown-up parents and then they threatened us. Follow our tradition. You need to wear our dress code. You need to read the language that we want you to. We were forced to leave the country because uh, one night they come to my grand grandfather's house and he was caught and he was taken to the prison. He was beaten. They forced to sign the paper saying that you are giving all your property to me and you're leaving the country. And they came with the paper next day and we were exiled and we left the country and we came to Nepal. There was no education, no medical support for the first time we came there. All the diseases spread around and more than, you know, around 15 to 20 people used to die in a one day. I spent there like 19 years as a refugee. But what I learned refugee is you have no rights, you have no property, you have nothing. So when I came here, like uh, we came like year ahead of Bindias. So my family came first, and then Bindias family. I was 16, and I went to uh, Burlington High School. I was junior. I learned how to flip between culture, and it, it was not easy. It, it was definitely a difficult task. She was only 16 months old when she came to US. I like dancing. Yeah, Bindias, you want to do some like TV shows? He was like, yeah, let's do it. And she gets inside the box and we cut the box out. It looks like a TV, you know. And I pretend I was on the news. We are Nepali and we live in Nepali world. Like, I mean, I learned Nepali. I had to learn Nepali and English at the same time. I've been like forgetting Nepali a lot, the language, because I've been here and I really want to like not forget it. So it's like really hard to like balance English and Nepali out. You don't want to regret it later on that, oh, should I didn't learn my language? Oh, I should have done it earlier. Now it's hard, you know, because I cannot 
pick up, you know. It's very difficult, you know, I think, uh, to be in such place, you know, where even a two generation of family can talk to each other in the same language. Even the job that I did, you know, going to, like working with young adults and youth in the community from other countries, not just Nepal, like, you know, from all different parts of the country, creating like international clubs and trying to help other young people who come here, uh, newly arriving to uh, Vermont. This is one thing that I choose to teach the culture, very important. The dress code, very important. If somebody asks you who you are, I'm Nepali. I saw that Binde was really interested in dance. And between Bidur and me, we discussed. And we uh, started class from 2016, Bhutanese Nepali cultural heritage dance group and they learn what the culture and the language through dance. We used to have dance but since COVID we had to shut it down and mostly when we come here to dance we have to put on masks. Because of all those pandemic we are doing only the virtual classes. Our culture is really beautiful and you should represent it. Just be proud of it. Don't care what other people think. It's not just dance. It's literally like friend group and Every time we sit down and we just talk about our life. So basically dance is like therapy for us. We kind of think of each other as like sisters because we grew up with each other. Vidya and her friends are performing for Vermont International Fest, which is going virtual this year, December 4th through 6th. And we will get stuck and Vermont with you again real soon. I just want to say thank you to my dance teacher, Niru, because she has sacrificed like a lot of stuff for us. And she's been like yelling at us and telling us to do this and that. But throughout the process, it really helped me. And we became really closer. Show me this crazy thing. Oh my gosh.